Hello, Stefan here with Liquidity with a video about the very confusing two letters, VW, which in German we call VW, which is why they're confusing. Liquidity. When people see and think about the two letters VW or VW as we call them in German, one of the first things that come to mind is the iconic 1960s and 1970s minibuses that were so popular. The very happy, hippie-ish, uh, iconic images of the 1960s and 1970s of the VW minibuses uh, kind of distract from the very sinister origins of the VW. So VW as a company today is a multinational corporation, a car maker that produces vehicles in multiple countries and uh, is today part of the world economy. However, back in 1937, when it was founded, it was actually founded by the Nazi regime, indirectly by the Nazi regime. So Volkswagen literally means people's car. So we have Volk, the S is kind of like an apostrophe as in English, and then Wagen uh, is the second part of the compound noun. So Volkswagen means people's car, car of the people. And it has its origin in the Nazi era of, of Germany. So while the Nazis brutalized millions of people who they thought of as inferior or unfit or just not German enough or, or human enough or, or just inferior uh, and did horrible things to them, including mass murder of millions and millions of people. They also tried to suck up to the average Joe in Germany. And one of the ways that they did this by promising to produce a car that everybody could afford. And that was the concept of the Volkswagen. So the people's car, a car for the people, right? Yes, uh, sinister history, not a very flattering origin, certainly. Very difficult time, very terrible times in Germany uh, and for the world. Uh, but today it's just one of many international companies. Now, as, as, as you already noticed, uh, th those two letters are pronounced very differently in German. So in English, we have VW. In German, we have VW. So the V is actually a V. The W is actually a V. You can already see how that's very confusing, right? Uh, when you compare those two. Of those two letters, the V or the V is the more complicated one, actually. So there are certain circumstances under which the V is pronounced like an F, and then other circumstances under which it is pronounced like a V, very much like in English. It is pronounced either like a V or like a F sound, depending on what type of word it is, and also depending on where it is located. As a rule, if the word is of Latin or other Romance language origins, such as French, especially French, it is almost always pronounced like a V sound, just as it would be in French or in Italian or what we think Latin used to be pronounced like. And that's regardless of where the V is located. So for instance, we have words like die Vitrine, die Veranda. We have personal names like Veronica, Valentin. If a word is of non-Romance origin, most likely Germanic origins, then it depends on where the V or the V is located. So if it is in the beginning of the word or the end of the word, it is most likely, almost always pronounced like an F. Uh, here are some examples. Der Vater. Der Vetter. Viel. Vor. Von. Der Vogel. Also, the prefix fair for verbs, which is very, very common, such as verpassen, 
vermischen. Also is always pronounced like a f, a fair. If it's the ending of a word such as der Nerv or, or brav, then it is also pronounced like a, like an F, a little bit softer maybe. If there's something added to the word, so for instance, if I say the plural of nerves, which is die Nerven, then it actually gets softened again to a V sound. Or if I say das brave Kind, then it gets softened to, to, to a V. So it really depends on where it is located in relationship to, to vowels especially. If it is in the middle of a word, it's always pronounced like a V. The English letter W or in German V, in German is almost always pronounced like a V sound. The only exceptions are really loan words. Like for instance, Wonder Woman. You shouldn't say Wonder Woman, although you'll hear some people in Germany pronounce it that way. Here are some examples and there are tons of them. Das Wasser, der Wind, wachsen, waschen, wieder, wissen, weiß, schwarz, der Schwan, das Schwein. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was interesting, was, was useful, was helpful. If you liked it, consider giving this video a like and maybe you even want to subscribe to my channel if you like these sorts of videos. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them. I always love to see them and I do respond to them. So uh, feel free to ask any questions or to make any comments that you wish. Have a great day. Bye. Tschüss.